How's it going, fishing friends? Mr. Bass here, and I'm pretty excited today because I got a special package in the mail. It's a mystery package, and it's not really a mystery. I know who it's from. I know who sent it to me. It's this guy right here. Burly Fishing. That's right. Burly Fishing. You guys probably know Jeff. He's got a great channel. It's a... Uh, an excellent fishing channel. He's got incredible live streams. He's got unboxings out the wazoo. He's got fishing tips and tricks. He's got on the water stuff. He he fishes in a Hobie Pro Angler kayak, just like mine. Uh, great guy. Fishes with Paul a lot. Great channel. And uh, he and I connected, and uh, he suggested that we collaborate on this bait swap deal. So the idea is. I send him $50 worth of lures, somewhere around six, seven lures, similar to what you might get in a Monster Bass box from Tackle Warehouse, and he send me uh, seven as well. I have no idea what he sent me, and he doesn't know what I sent him. And uh, then we're just going to unbox it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unbox it today, and as we go along, I'm also going to answer four questions, and he's going to answer the very same four questions. Just a little uh, miscellaneous information about me, about the way I fish, that kind of thing, and the same for him. Now, this video is going live today, and his video is going live th at the same time. So as soon as you finish watching my video, why don't you hop over to Burley Fishing's channel and check out what I sent him, because I think you will like the lures that I sent him, and... The Mr. Bass Tribe, the guys who are always following me, probably already know what I sent him because I talk about my lures all the time. I did try to throw some stuff in there. One of the things was maybe at least throw one kind of weird, wacky lure in there uh, that may or may not be something that uh, Jeff over at Burley would want to fish or, or might make fishing interesting. So let's break this open and see what we've got. Wow, quite a bit of stuff for $50. Look at all that. It's practically full. We'll just grab the first one on the top. I don't know what it is, and let's take a look at it. Ah, the Ribbit Frog. And I'm very familiar with the Ribbit Frog. This is a soft plastic topwater frog. And uh, the, the ribbit frogs are really great. But there's something unique about this one. See that there? It's got like a little buzz bait blade. And they call this the buzz it ribbit. This is, this, is, uh, this is the bullfrog color. Looks like a great color. And uh, let's just open it a little bit here. How about that? The ribbit frogs are made in the USA. I didn't know that. I like that kind of stuff. Supporting the old home team, if you will. So, typical ribbit frog, bullfrog color. These little flappers, man, they make some great action in the water. And if you've never fished a ribbit frog, I highly recommend these. They're, they're a blast. So, I do have quite a bit of experience with these. But, what's unique here is I have never tried the buzzet. The buzz it ribbit. Look at that little little buzz bait blade on a wire that's uh, tied onto this hook. So I got to try this. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this out and try this right away. Um, the top water bite is starting to work, and so this looks fun. I think I'm gonna really like this uh, this buzz it frog by ribbit the ribbit frog cool next we got a lure by six cents fishing the hyper jerk 70 i have never fished the hyper jerk 70. this of course looks like a great color um six cents fishing just they're all about color they're all about details they're all about beauty they're all about quality components. And uh, this one's no different. This is their shad color. 
And just look, look at how beautiful these things are. The detail on the eyes and the and the gill plates and the the scale patterns. And then they put these big beefy EWG hooks with a feathered treble. I think their hooks are made by VMC. It's got uh, this gold background here with a, a black back pattern. And then it transitions to this bluish purple and then to, to white. And you know, that that's pretty realistic. Shad, even though we say a shad's white, it's a blend of many different colors. And there's a lot of different colors that reflect off of it. So this looks like a very nice little jerk bait. Um, not sure exactly what you do with this thing. Let me take a look. Okay, so it says you use quick twitches, jerks, and pops of the rod, and the hyper jerk will dive and dart below the surface with a very erratic action. Pretty cool. That looks really fun to fish too, especially I would say in the fall when you're chasing the shad, the big balls of shad that are busting all over the lake. That I think would be a great fall time lure. Okay, questions. Let me start with the first question. And the first question that we were going to, well, I don't know what order. So the orders, uh, my questions, the order of my questions may be in a different order than, than Burley's. But one of the questions was, talk about your personal best, your PB. How big was it? And maybe a little story about how it happened and that kind of thing. So I have caught almost all of my seven pound or bigger fish on smaller lakes and ponds. I fish some big, big water all over the country, but I've never caught any giant, say seven and higher, on those really big lakes. It's always been a small lake, a local lake, a pond, that kind of thing. My personal best actually is just under nine pounds. And I actually caught two nine pounders, just under 10 pounds, uh, at the same pond. Different times, about three years apart. The very first one, I went out, it was November time. Uh, temps were cold. The water was cold. It was probably in the 50s. And I was fishing a Carolina rig as slow as I could drag that thing through that cold water. And I had a white lizard, a white zoom lizard on the end of my Carolina rig. And I fished that thing all day long. And it was kind of later in the day, probably around 5 p.m. Right near the bank, I got a thump. And I was like, oh, 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 this is a good one. This is a good one. I had no idea how good it was. And I've got a video. Uh, now, this was way before I was into YouTube, so the video's not very good. The quality's not great, but it's on my channel. I'll put a link here. You can go and check that out. But that was my absolute best fish, over nine pounds. I was ecstatic, absolutely ecstatic. And then a couple of years later, I caught another nine pounder, just under 10 pounds. Same area, same water, different lure but it was a slow moving lure. That's my PB story. I have never been able to crack the double digit code yet. I'm still looking, I'm still chasing, chasing those big double digit donkeys. All right, let's see what's next in here. What do we got next? Okay, Cumberland Pro Lures. This is the compact swim jig. It's called Limit Out. And it's a 3 8 ounce swim jig. Chartreuse Shiner is the color. I am very familiar with Cumberland Pro Lures, although I've never fished their swim jig. I have fished quite a few of their other lures. One of their lures that I really like is they have a compact hair jig that I like to fish quite a bit. So this, uh, this little swim jig is very compact. I don't think, since I don't have reference here, uh, you can really see how small this, this little swim jig is, but it's tiny. 
and it's got uh, a two wire weed guard here and uh, I really like the skirt and the color this color is very nice um, this looks like a color a, a nice shad color that I would definitely fish with in this area and uh, again this color is chartreuse shiner all right now this get, leads me to the second question which is kind of interesting because uh, the second question has to do with name a lure or a technique that it seems like everybody in the fishing world catches lots of fish on and you don't. And ironically enough, the reason I want to answer this question right now is because ironically for me, that lure, that technique is the swim jig. That is right. Believe it or not, I've got tons of swim jigs. I've probably got 50, maybe even 100 different swim jigs. I'm enamored by it. I've fished in, boat, in the boat with guys who have caught lots of fish on a swim jig, and I just have never really caught much fish on the swim jig. And I am determined to get to the point where I really can catch fish on a swim jig repeatedly over and over again. I've bought special technique-specific swim jig rods. I've spent lots of time fishing swim jigs. But I always end up gravitating back towards some other technique, like a chatterbait, a bladed jig, um, a swim bait, those kind of things, uh, that will tend to work well in the same conditions as a swim jig bite will. Although we know sometimes they like the subtlety of a little swim jig. I'm intrigued by this little guy, this little compact swim jig, and it will help me work on one of my weaker techniques for sure. So thanks Burley. That is a good one for me. What do we got next? Next is one of my favorite lures. Check this out. Z-Man Fishing Cross Eyes Chatterbait and the color is Chili Dog. Chili Dog. So what is a Cross Eyes Chatterbait compared to a normal Chatterbait? Well, it's pretty much a normal chatterbait, a normal bladed jig. The only difference is it's got a weed guard on it. And if you watched any of my chatterbait videos, you will know, I have said it time and time again, wood is not your friend with a chatterbait. The problem is, wood is the fish's friend. They absolutely love wood. And I got tons of wood where I live. So I am fishing a chatterbait around wood constantly. And this little bad boy will help a lot. I'm excited to try this because believe it or not, as much wood as there is and as many chatterbaits as I throw, I have not tried this chatterbait with a weed guard on it. And look at that thing. It looks great. And, and this is like three strands, maybe it's two, two strands. This, this weed guard is super stout. There's not a lot to it, but it's more like stiff wire instead of fiber. It doesn't feel like a fiber weed guard. It feels like wire. So that's a typical Z-Man chatterbait. But it's got that big weed guard. Pretty sweet. I really like that. Snag resistant bladed jig. Dude, I'm going to love fishing that. All right, now we're on to some soft plastics by Missile Baits. The Tomahawk 8.75 in watermelon red. And this, to me, is more of a shaky head technique. I have fished the Tomahawk before. And it's really nothing more than a big worm, like a curly-tailed worm. I would put this on a shaky head or a Texas rig. The difference is it's got two curly tails instead of one. And uh, it, it, it's a fish catcher. There's no doubt about it. Uh, this thing will catch fish. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. I think what I'll do is I will set up a video here in the near future where I take Burley's baits out and fish with them. 
And obviously they're not all going to work in the same time of year, but I will fish as many as I can and see what happens. That, that, I think that would be fun. So the Tomahawk 875 in watermelon red. Okay, next question is what is my favorite lure? Absolute favorite, all time favorite. I get asked this question all the time on my channel, either in the comments or during live streams. What's your favorite lure? What's your favorite lure? What's your favorite lure? And my answer is always the same. It depends on the time of year and what they're biting on. Because quite frankly, if I'm in the springtime and they're hitting a square bill crankbait, that's my favorite lure. If they're hitting a jig, that's my favorite lure. If they're hitting a wacky rig worm, that's my favorite lure. However, there's always a, a few lures out there that you gravitate towards or that you really just have fun with or really enjoy. And I was thinking about this, and I know some of you guys that, that follow me constantly, you're already going to guess things like the Chatterbait, absolutely one of my favorites, or the Ned Rig, absolutely one of my favorites, or the Swimbait, absolutely one of my favorites. But as I thought about this, I really spent some time kind of mulling it over my head even though those are my favorites, the wiggle wart, another one of my absolute favorite uh, crankbaits to fish. If I really am honest with myself about what is my favorite technique where I just have the most fun when it's really working and it works most of the time, it's none of those. Here it is right here. The buzz bait. This is the Booyah Squelcher. This is a great buzz bait that I picked up in my Monster Bass box a few months ago. And dude, I've just been crushing them on this thing. It has become one of my absolute favorite buzz baits now. But there is something about buzz bait fishing that is just so frigging fun. It's just a blast to fish a buzz bait. So, even though I don't talk about this as much, it is probably my favorite technique out there. So that was a good question. All right, let's dig back in here. We got a few more items left. Next up, hey, something out of the KVD crate. It could be, because it's a KVD lure from Strike King. This is a 1.5 flat side. And uh, we're almost getting in my part of the world where a flat side's gonna, it's gonna be too warm for a flat side here in the next little while. But uh, flat sided crankbaits, they're really the rage. They have been the last few years with the Fritz side and the OG Slim and all these other ones coming out. And uh, I have no doubt Strike King mates, makes excellent lures, excellent crankbaits. Let's just go ahead and Take this one out of the box and show you a little closer. The color on this thing is Delta Red. The 1.5 size is, you know, when you're talking about crankbaits, generally speaking, whether it's a square bill or a regular crankbait, that's my most popular size is always going to be in this 1.5 range, which is usually around a 2 inch crankbait. Check out that Delta Craw color. Looks pretty good. And you know, uh, Strike King also always has really good hooks, really good components. And uh, you can see there how narrow it is, flat sided, no bulge to, to the lure on a flat sided crankbait. This one looks, looks good. It looks really fun to fish. And I think, I love crankbait fishing. I absolutely do. Thanks, Burley. I'm definitely going to use that one. Never heard of these guys, Black Angel Lures. This looks like a really high quality jig here. It's called the Finesse. It's just their Finesse jig, hand tied, and the color is called Pimp Juice. Well, you can call it Pimp Juice if you want, but it looks black and blue to me. This is a 5 16 ounce jig. It says that it is a chip resistant head, premium hand tied skirts. It's the only jig with a built in trailer enhancer. What's a built in trailer enhancer? 
It's just long strands of extra skirt uh, that come out of the back of the jig and it's designed to in imitate an antenna of a crawfish when you put your plastic trailer on there to look like a crawfish. When you stop hopping the jig, the trailer enhancers continue moving just like the antenna of a live crawfish. All right, we're going to have to break this open and check out these crawfish antenna that's on the back of this finesse jig. Okay, you can see it's definitely compact. It's a compact finesse jig. And you really want a skirt that flares like that on your compact jigs, your finesse jigs. It's got a pretty good size uh, fiber weed guard. And then look at those long extra strands of blue antenna. That's a little ball head jig, which is normally what you see with the finesse jig. Looks good. Compact, nice colors. I say it's black and blue, but you can see there's other strands, other colors in there, like some green pumpkin and some black kind of mixed in with the, with the black and blue there. So that is the Black Angel Lures Hand Tied Finesse Jig, 5 sixteenths of an ounce. Okay, we're getting down to the final bait in the box. Before we get to that, though, let me hit the last question, the final question for you. Okay, the final question is, what's the coolest place you've ever fished? What's the most awesome place you've ever fished? And this was kind of a hard one for me because I love fishing wherever I go. I fished in the Florida Everglades, awesome. I fished in Canada for enormous pike and muskie and walleye and lake trout. I fished for salmon up in Alaska. I have fished over in the California Delta. I fished on the St. John's River down in Florida. I fished Lake Gunnersville. I fished all over the place. But if I think about one of the most awesome, unique experiences I ever had fishing, it has to be a tournament that I fished as a co-angler down at the Sabine River down in Texas. And this was an absolute crazy experience because of the person I got paired with. I got paired with T. Roy Broussard. And if you never heard of that guy, go watch Swamp People. He's not a cast member now. I don't even know if the show's still on. But he is a former cast member of Swamp People show. He is a gator fighter. And he is crazy. He's awesome. He's a great guy. But he lives down there where that tournament was held on the Sabine. He lives there. And he took me back into this crazy, shallow, lily pad field of insane gator water. And we're talking inches of water. He was taking that big boat with his 250 horse Yamaha motor in places there's no nobody else could even get back to. No one would even know how to get back there. And he took me back into the swamp and we fished the swamp all day. And it was just such a rare, unique, crazy experience. It was just incredible. And so that has got to be the most amazing place I've ever fished probably. And I've fished at a lot of crazy places. It, it, it's a hard one, hard one to narrow down. Uh, but that's probably got to be my most exciting experience. And thank you, T. Roy Broussard, for an amazing tournament day. He was actually sick that whole day and fished through it. It was it was really something to see. All right, let's get to the last the last product here in the box. This is Beast Coast Tungsten and Tackle, and this is the 4.25 inch Marauder Toxic Bug. Check it out. I'm going to have to break this out of the package because it's almost impossible to see what the thing looks like through the plastic, I think. It's a big old crawdad, beaver style crawdad. Kind of hard to hold here. If you can see, hold it so you can see the color. It looks almost like a June bug color, 
It's got a lot of purple in it, and it's got blue flake. I'm trying to hold it up this way. It has uh, some pretty prominent looking pinchers. Try to do it like this, maybe. And then it's got, uh, you know, a couple of antenna there and some little spikies. These ribs look kind of like a Missile Baits D-Bomb ribs on it. Never fished this. Never tried it. Looks like a really good flipping bait. It also would make a jig trailer. Um, it's really big for a jig trailer, but you absolutely could use it for a jig trailer. You could uh, fish this uh, Texas rigged if you wanted. There's a lot of different ways to fish this. And uh, flipping and pitching, I think, would be my first choice, though. So very interesting. He definitely sent me a couple of lures I have never tried before. Um, and so... I am interested to give these a shot. The Marauder and uh, the Ribbit, Buzz It, and the little Swim Jig, the Hyper Jerk, Jerk Bait, all of them look pretty sweet. So the other thing uh, that uh, we we're gonna do is, of the lures that he sent me, pick out maybe my favorite lure out of, out of the bunch here and also pick out one of the lures that I think I'm least likely to catch fish on. So I've kind of already told you those things. I think my favorite is the chatterbait, the bladed jig. Uh, this is one of my go-to favorite techniques of all time. And I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be throwing this right away, and I know I'm going to enjoy it. I'm, gonna, I'm really going to get a kick out of that. And then the one that I'm least likely to catch fish on... It's probably going to be the swim jig. Going back to the fact that I mentioned this is the technique that I seem to just not do real well on. But I'm going to try burly fishing. Jeff, I am going to give it a try. I am going to keep fighting. This might be the breakthrough that I need to help me cross the chasm of swim jig fishing. Wow, that's it. I really had a blast doing this. I enjoyed it. I, I really am uh, appreciative to Jeff for asking me to do this. It was really fun, Jeff. Thanks a lot. Go check out the Burley channel. Hey, you've seen what he sent me. you got to go over and see what I sent him. I wonder how he'll react. I hope he likes the stuff I sent him. I hope he'll find something a little challenging, too. Thanks so much for watching the Mr. Bass channel. Thanks for watching Burly Fishing. Please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to find out the next time I post a video. And until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!